Joe Biden has once again gone on quite a strange tangent. Hey Freethinkers, Chandler here, and yes, you heard me right, Joe Biden is back on his strange behavior. Now, before I cover our main story today, I just want to report a little bit of what's going on with Joe Biden's campaign today. Joe Biden, in late November, launched a tour in key swing states in the Midwest under the name No Malarkey. Now, let me just say this directly to Joe Biden's marketing team. Your candidate is old and not 100% quite there in the head. Do you really think it is a good idea to market off of the faults of your candidate? I mean, no malarkey, really? May I remind you, it's 2019, not 1989? Just checking. Either way, while at the launch of his tour, Joe Biden's part-time wife, Jill Biden, was opening for him. Unfortunately, Joe Biden did the exact opposite of what is necessary for his campaign. While Jill Biden was theatrically motioning with her arms, Joe Biden decided to let his wild side out and bite or nibble or whatever her finger. Live, on stage, in front of an admittedly small crowd. Unfortunately for the Biden campaign, this story made the rounds on Twitter. Further pushing the idea that Joe Biden is just out of touch and creepy for 2019's tough standards for personal space and affection. See my video on Girl Scout hugs and you'll understand. Now that we've gotten past that, let's get to the even funnier part of the story. Yes, it gets better. Now you folks may remember a couple months ago when Joe Biden went off on a tangent about a man named Corn Pop and that he was a bad dude, right? Well, that was the most marketed piece of that speech, but it turns out during the speech that there are more interesting portions. And in my own humble opinion, this is so much worse than Corn Pop. Joe Biden decided to discuss a summer of his when he was a lifeguard, for some reason, and also somehow allowed children to sit on his lap? I... I'm confused. I'm sorry, maybe it's just me, but this is very confusing to me. Where's the logic in any of this? Joe Biden has a special talent for just about confusing everyone, including himself. You know what, I'll play that portion of the speech, so maybe you and I can understand it just a little better. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand, and it get hot, I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair c come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Okay, so is it just me or did he make absolutely no sense there, even after watching it a couple times? I mean, I've listened to it a few times and after a few minutes of talking, it just seems as if he's in a semi-catatonic state, pinging through memories while we sit here listening to him narrate. It's frankly worrisome. Many have commented on Joe Biden's questionable health state, both mental and physical health state. And no matter how hard his team tries, there's always something that seems to mess it up. Could it simply be that Joe Biden's days as a politician are over? I mean, he's been in the game since the 80s. Don't you think it's about time he throws the towel and retires? Maybe it's just my opinion. Oh, and speaking of opinion, I'd love to hear yours. Let me know down below how you feel about the Joe Biden campaign and his recent gaffes. Can they even be called gaffes anymore? Who knows? Either way, leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Oh, and while you're down there, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and want to see more. It really means a lot when you guys engage with the video, so feel free to do so. I love reading comments and seeing you guys get involved with the conversation, so keep it up. And speaking of conversation, this YouTube channel has an official affiliate Discord server where you can meet and speak to other viewers of the channel and have active debates. We have a very active debate channel where both policies, politics, and other things like ideologies are discussed every day. If you'd like to get in the conversation, just download the Discord app and sign up, then use the code you see on screen now to join the chat group. Oh, and also, don't worry, Discord isn't only for gamers. It's a fantastic chat service where people can make groups of people that have similar ideas and have them speak to each other. So if you'd like to join in the conversation, do so now. If you'd like to support the growth of this channel, be sure to check out my donor box. Head over to donorbox.org support dash Chandler. Also be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to keep up to date with what I'm doing. Aside from all that, I'll catch you next time, Freethinkers. Don't forget to spread the virus of intelligence.